Hello, hello everybody. This is Ruel from Packet6 and I just wanted to share a tool with you on Apple OS X. If you wanted to capture frames, wireless frames with your laptop, there is a handy little tool called AirTool from Adrian Granados and you can download it for free. Just go to adriangranados.com slash apps slash AirTool and if you scroll all the way to the bottom, um, you can read what it's about. AirTool uses Wireshark after it's done capturing wireless frames and uh, download links at the bottom. It's free and once you open it, well, you know what? Let me just show you. I've already installed AirTool. It's up here at the top. Here's the icon. It has a wrench with the uh, Wi-Fi signal here. And the thing with with this application is if you're gonna um, scan a channel and capture wireless frames, you have to be disconnected from your SSID. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna disconnect. I'm gonna come back up here and then select the channel I wanna capture on. So here's a channel list. I've uh, pre-selected channel six because I know there's quite a bit of APs there. We can uh, select the link layer header here. I'm just gonna use the defaults. But let's, you know, let's check preferences first. And by default, it saves to my desktop and it'll automatically open Wireshark for me once the capture is finished. You can limit the capture file size and also display a icon at the top, the status icon to display the channel and the channel width. And as you can see, it's, it's changed up there at the top. Under advanced, you can set the dwell time for the milliseconds. It's set to 250 milliseconds by default. And you can select the five gigahertz channel bands if you have a Cloud Shark account, you can uh, set up your API token here. So let's check out the the wireless captures. So I'm gonna hit the icon up at the top, Air Tool, and you can capture in whichever channel you've selected, or you can capture other capture other channels like the all 2.4 gigahertz channels, and it'll it'll go through all the channels using the dwell time, and the same on the five gigahertz channels, or you can scan all if you wanted to. But I'm gonna be I'm gonna be more specific and just capture channel six. So let's go ahead and click that capture, and it's capturing from my wireless card that's built into my Mac on channel six, a 20 megahertz channel. You can see all the frames it's capturing. So I'm just gonna stop that right now, and it's saved to my desktop. And after I stop it, it just opens Wireshark right away. So here you go. You can see all the beacon frames that are capture there um, you know, there's SSIDs like Asus and Linksys you know very unique SSID names oh there's that Xfinity Wi-Fi that's everywhere um, but these are the guys broadcasting on channel 6 around my neighborhood you can see all the different types of frames that are on channel 6 this is a useful tool if you wanted to analyze your network you know what channel a clients on and they're having issues go ahead and try to capture that or maybe it's your client um, if you need more advanced capturing, you're going to need a an external card like Air... Um, God, I forgot the name. I'll put it in the notes uh, in this video, but this is a handy tool, Air Tool by Adrian Granados. Go ahead and download it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.